figuring out how to make all of this work together. So please work with us uh, as we try to you know make all of this come together uh, very well. We're really excited about all of the Max Fun talent that's going to be coming out tonight. Um, some of them will be live. Some of them have recorded some things. Uh, there might be props jumping in and out. Who knows what's going to happen tonight? Yeah, just stay alert. That's what we're going to ask. We're going to ask you to stay alert. We're going to ask you also to, you know, if you have if you have the ability to, you know, give up some of them coins that y'all got. Okay, Max Fun Drive is what's been happening right for the last four weeks, which is an opportunity for you all, as our lovely listeners, our audience, to support us, to source support, as I like to say on Fanti, the good good that we provide for you all. Lord. Some of us every week, some of us every couple weeks, um, but it's good good every time we come to your feed. Um, and so Absolutely. if you have not yet become a member, you can become a Max Fund member um, at MaximumFund.org slash join. And tonight specifically, right, this Max Fund Drive Live experience is what we're calling it. Um, all of the donations that you give tonight go to give directly. All right. Give directly. You want to tell the people about give directly, Jared? No, that's okay. Uh, no, <laughs> Give Directly is a nonprofit that supports uh, those most financially impacted by COVID-19 by giving direct cash payments uh, to the individuals and families who need it the most. So we've already started raising money and throughout the night, we're going to let you know how much we've, we've raised because of, you know, the folks like you that are out there participating and giving. Uh, if you want to find out how you can participate or if you want to want to give directly, see what I did there? Because that's a pun because uh, <laughs> this is, y'all fun. he's gonna be doing that this entire thing so don't that's hold it here. against us if you don't like it okay I, still give your funds if you have them you do recognize i people. can hear you <laughs> right. you can you can visit us online at maximumfund.org slash give directly uh, to be able to participate again that's maximumfund.org slash give directly you mentioned earlier that this is our first Max Fun experience, right? We are a new show. We started in February, right before you know the you the, the like shutdown happened, um, and well, because I wasn't sure. Um, but we, we've been doing the show now. We do it out of our closets, um, and uh, you uh, well, doing your closet <laughs> with the Romanian flag behind you or something. Whatever. <laughs> Tell people what this is behind you. This is just some fabric that I bought in the fashion district a couple of days ago. This is this actually, I should say, is a Max Fun Live Drive. Is it Drive Live or Live Drive? Max Fun Drive Live. Finale. Okay, a Max Fun Drive. Have you heard of what we do here? <laughs> live. This is an, ex an exclusive here, okay? Oh. This is an exclusive. Um, I bought it just for you all on the interweb so now that you can you know partake um but sure let's talk to you thrilled. they of course are thrilled <laughs> let's talk to you a little bit about what's coming up on the show all right coming up we have andrew reich of dead pilot society we have jackie cation of the jackie and Lori show and manolo moreno of dr game show on how to make friends in a pandemic we've got some other surprises right that we're gonna drop into your spirits um as well so you make sure you you just stay tuned but first we have a little special something something from the one, the only. Jared, this is your introduction. You <laughs> I was throw like, it. I'm just going to let you see what you're going to do there. That's fine. <laughs> uh, we're going to kick this off uh, with a message from Mr. Max Fun himself. Jesse Thorne, take a look. Hey, it's Jesse, the founder of Max Fun. I just wanted to welcome everybody to the Max Fun Drive live show. Uh, these are tough weird times and you guys have come through for us in an extraordinary way. We're so grateful to everybody who's become a member. We're so grateful to everybody who's supported us in other ways. So grateful to everybody who's paid for a gift membership for a friend or somebody who had to cancel because of circumstances. Um, we're thankful to all of you. So enjoy all the fun on this show. I think you will. And uh, I'll kick it back to Jared and Travel. Said, I, I kind of do. I mean, I wouldn't want to maintain it, but I mean, I could at least go out and do videos like Jesse outside. I don't know. It was a Jesse's video was a little shaky. Okay, but I put I put grass on my balcony. It's fake grass, but it makes me feel like I've got the luxury of being outside, mm. like I'm Jesse Thorne. Maybe mm. I don't know. Well, go ahead. it's fine. <laughs> Well, I want to shout out one of the 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 messages we got from the chat from 
Tro, Trow, Trow125, who said, I upgraded my membership this year, partly because I started supporting Fanti and wanted to make sure they got more of my money, money, dollar, dollar bill. I think those are the favorite kinds of comments, actually. Um, <laughs> I think that's as good as comments get. Thank you very much, Tro125. We appreciate it. Um, that's awesome. Thank you so much. That's really cool. It is. It is. Well, our first uh, live portion, I think, of mm -hmm. this evening is coming from the wonderful, the wonderful Jackie Cation of the Jackie and Laura, Laurie show. And, you know, she's funny. So this is going to be cute. Everyone make some noise in your living rooms for Jackie Cation. <laughs> Hello, Jackie. Hey there. You're still on you mute, Jackie. You're, you're muted. Fantastic. Is, there we go. There we this go. Is, you would think I haven't been doing this since March. Hello. Except for there's just there's just the three of us, right? Am I? Am, this is like a challenge to make the two of you laugh. This is going to be fantastic. Um, we're we're all watching. We're, it's a bunch of us out here. We're watching. There's with a bunch you. of you. I love it. <laughs> I see Bikram. I see some names. It's the Zoom show, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care. Oh, that oh, was great. Thank you that so much fun. again, Jackie. Up now, we have a little something something from Andrew, who's going to be talking about music. So we're, we're not even saying full names now? Or just getting specific about music? Is just well, throwing it out there like that? It's called Not Stealing Anyone's Thunder, my dear friend, Jared. I'm going to let Andrew tell the people who him is, okay? Who him is? Hey, Max. <laughs> Andrew Reich. I'm the creator and co-host of Dead Pilot Society. If you don't know, Dead Pilot Society is a show where we take comedy pilots from A-list writers that were sold and developed at networks but never shot and give them the table reads they never got a chance to have. So check that out if you like comedy, if you're interested in the, the creative process, listen to that. But I'm not here to talk about uh, that. I am a television writer. I worked on Friends for many years. I've worked on many comedy shows. Uh, but I am first and foremost a lover of of music, and I'm here to talk about music. I'm a record collector. I'm here to talk about a slice of my record collection. Uh, my first love, punk rock. More specifically, what I'm going to talk about today, hardcore punk rock. More specifically, New Jersey hardcore. And even more specifically, I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite New Jersey hardcore seven inch records. I grew up in New Jersey going to shows. There was a big difference between New, the New Jersey hardcore bands and the New York hardcore bands. The New York hardcore bands were bigger and tougher and meaner and scarier. The New Jersey bands all had a sense of humor. I think that's what I loved about them. Uh, so the most famous New Jersey punk band, hardcore band, is probably the Misfits. I'm not going to talk about them today. I just wanted to show off that I've got a Misfits seven inch. But you've all heard of the Misfits probably. Let's talk about New Jersey hardcore. The the the, the Led Zeppelin four, the White Album, the Pet Sounds of New Jersey hardcore seven inches has got to be Let's Barbecue by Adrenaline OD. These guys were the kings of the scene, the fastest, funniest, tightest band. Saw them many times. This uh, is just a, a classic record. Uh, their song Suburbia, Old People Talk Loud, Mischief Night. Um, these guys weren't talking about politics. They weren't talking about unity. They were talking about hating the guy in school who drove the Trans Am and got the girls. That's the essence of New Jersey hardcore. This is it. You know, If you want to understand New Jersey hardcore, you listen to the Let's Barbecue 7 Inch. The, their first album, The Wacky Hijinks of Adrenaline OD, amazing. Songs about White Castle and all kinds of things, but but this this is the this is the big. I'm, I'm starting with the, with the greatest of all. Okay, uh, let's let's move on to a very strange record. This is the Stissism band. I never understood what this band was, what this, what Stissism meant, but they used to play this on WFMU all the time. And the songs are really they're catchy, they're they're odd. Uh, listening to it recently, you know, most of these bands. They're misogynistic. They're, they're, there's nothing politically correct about the lyrics to Cambodian puzzle. I feel like a lot of this was tongue in cheek. Certainly, up with Reagan was definitely tongue in cheek. So, you know, this is a weird one. Go on YouTube, listen to this. The singer's just bizarre, Mikey Plague, uh, but a great record on on the Mother Records label. Here's another one: Teenage Depression, Skank or Die. Just look at this cover. Look at this band. 
Um, you know, does it? You know, okay. A question that record collectors ask uh, with about the same frequency that vegetarians ask. Uh, you know, is there chicken stock in the soup at restaurants? Is does it have the insert? All of the in all of these. Yes, the answer is yes. Here's the insert. The the hit on this one, "Anarchies for Assholes," a great song. And what I noticed looking at this insert again, the return address for this band that's that's playing songs called "Speed Punk Suck" and Reagan's Gestapo is Brown University. One of these guys. I don't know which one went to Brown. Okay, moving on. The Burnt. Another band on the Mother Records label. This is, so you got Reno, BT, Dog, and Pit. These guys were overweight, scary, big louts. Um, they kind of look like some of those scary New York hardcore bands, but they cover the Flintstones theme. Agnostic Front's not going to cover the Flintstones theme. They have a song called Horse Meat. Cro-Mags, no, not going to happen. So uh, look at the artistry of this insert. Look at the care that was taken to produce this. People don't care about their art in the same way that the Burnt cared when they made the MPEP. All right, last one for now, all the time I've got. U.S. Chaos. This was a tricky one. We weren't sure if it was racist. The, the lyrics were kill, 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 kill the killers. But it sounded like kill, 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 kill the coloreds. That wasn't what they were singing. It's still a very pro-death penalty song. I can't get behind it, but a great sounding U.S. oi kind of record, U.S. chaos. All right, that's all the time we have. That's some of my favorite New Jersey hardcore records. I'm Andrew Reich. Please check out Dead Pilot Society. And thank you for supporting Maximum Fun. So can I just say, like... I kind of miss albums having inserts. Like, Do you? Like, if Beyonce's The Gift had had, like, a booklet to it. Like, imagine all of the photos. You mm. know what I mean? I'm like, sure she's going to give us that, actually. I, I so. And it will pro probably cost us a pretty penny. It will cost us $100 million, okay? And I have a Beyonce savings account for stuff like that, so fine. As any but, card-carrying yeah. member of the Beehive does. Okay. Exactly, or any um, self-respecting black gay. <laughs> So I think you in particular, Jared, will like this next segment, seeing as how you, except for a couple instances, have been all by yourself during the quarantine. I feel like I'm being set up right now. Yes. I'm going to do it because you're my co-host. <laughs> Why will I like this next segment? You will like this next segment because Dr. Game Show's Manolo is going to talk about how you can be less lonely and make some Rona friends. <laughs> uh, am I allowed to go on now? Yes, you are allowed, allowed to go you. on, Manolo. Hey. That, that was your cue, Manolo. I'm sorry. I, I, that was great. I just, you know, I was, you know, over. Like, should I? It's yeah, like double dutch. I? You got to figure out when to get in here. Yeah, Take it away. All right. Okay. So, uh, my name's Manolo, and uh, uh, like they said, I haven't. Um, touched a human body in, in like eight months because of uh <laughs> the quarantine but um i'm gonna show you how i made a, a friend and i used a lot of cardboard and paint and uh this is it right here it's my little puppet friend which i made um and it's fun because you could do like a lot of um puppet things like make its mouth move like hey i'm your friend and, um, you know, you can't deny it because I'm controlling it, I guess. Um, and you could do, like, a lot of cool puppet things. Like, you know that um, one ventriloquist thing where they uh, drink a glass of water while the um, uh, puppet sings a fancy song? Uh, I've been doing that, and I uh, thought I was going to do it for you all, but... Then I was like, what if I raise the stakes? What if I had the puppet um, contemplate who's the real dummy while I uh, eat this jar of pork slop, um, which I will do for you now. Um, just to so show you what, because I used to do this with my friends. <laughs> um, so, okay, I'm going to open this jar real quick. Oh, hold on. Uh, Okay, so first the you would uh, <laughs> oh no ah uh, my friend ah uh, 
Oh, okay. So, uh, my only friend, but uh, uh, what I could do, I have a plan. Uh, I have a backup plan, which I have for all my friends, is that when you make a friend, always make a coffin the size of your friend, um, <laughs> like this one, uh, in case something like this happens. So then you could just uh, also make it out of cardboard. Just uh, open it up like this, and you could place them into the coffin and uh, say a few nice words, and then like put it on your sh put it put it on your shoulder uh, like this, and then take it to the um, to the backyard and uh, bury it um, real quick. <laughs> or you could find out that your coffin is sentient and that you made friends with it because you fed it your best friend's corpse, or I guess your second best friend. Um, so <laughs> then uh, you could just be friends with a coffin. And um, that's all I wanted to show you guys. So I'm done, if you guys want to <laughs> come on and... <laughs> Um, you know, uh, uh, Manolo. Thoughts? <clears throat> yeah. Sweetie, how are you? Oh, I'm, I'm amazing. I made another friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I gotta say, when yes. you said you're gonna show us how you made a friend, I didn't realize you're gonna show us how you made <laughs> yeah. a friend. That took a turn I didn't see coming. Right. Isn't away. that a great pitch for like a Sesame Street thing? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like no. I think the red hand <laughs> might creep out the Sesame Street community, uh, but who am yeah, I? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I have a funny. question for you, Manolo. Please. Yes. Um, are the rumors true that you were named after Manolo Blahnik? Uh, the shoe designer? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's how I used to get people on my side. i just be like, my name's Manolo, like the shoe. Um. <laughs> Did you stop doing that, and that's why we're making friends now? I think so. Are we friends? No, oh, I'm am saying, I, I, oh, yeah. I, well, okay, wait. I did that. I didn't have to do that with the cardboard. No, but I could do it. that with, hey, you know, my name's hey, Manolo. Whatever like, works. The, like the shoe. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> Manolo, for your time yeah. and your creativity. Thanks your for having me. Oh, you guys are great. Bye. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right. Um, it is time for us to check in for our first update on just how much money we've raised. Um, only in just a few minutes, we've already raised a few hundred dollars um, for our friends over at Give Directly. Um, I believe there's a graphic coming up on the bottom of the screen somewhere around here. Somewhere it may be on the bottom of the screen. It may not be. I can't <laughs> tell yet. But I do know that we have raised $460. I know the graphic is coming. Um, so we want to thank uh, you all for... Uh, for jumping in and, and giving. If you go to MaximumFun.org slash give directly, uh, you can give and uh, $460 worth of you people have already done it and we appreciate it. <laughs> yes, we definitely, 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 definitely do. Um, we here at Max Fun, you know, we don't mess around in case you didn't know. We're so serious about raising money for the charities. We literally have operators standing by. Oh, do we? We... <laughs> We have operators? Waiting. I, I love that. Okay. Free to call. Waiting. Come on. Ring. 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 Bring, 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 bring. I think we have the same phone, Jackie. Um, I, oh. you know what, Travel. I actually have to take this call. Um, You're disrespectful. I want to let you guys know that we, we might have glitches here. Hold on one second. Um, <laughs> but our operators are standing by, so you don't have to wait for us. You can just, you know, handle it. Go ahead, Travel. I got it. I'm the best hey, host of Fanti anyway. I do the entire show by myself, and Jared one just second. shows up. I can still hear you. <laughs> 
but as he said, you don't have to wait for the operators to pick up. You can go directly to MaximumFun.org slash give directly to donate and give your coins. Coming up on the show, we have hosts from four different Max Fun shows that are getting together, including Can I Pet Your Dog, Minority Corner, One Bad Mother, and Troubled Waters for a game show they're calling Can I Pet Your Questions? In choices choices um we've also got some stand-up coming from uh lori kill martin of the jackie and lori show i think we already did that um but first jared i, I i'm here um we've got a <laughs> very I, the phone call they were delightful they're big fans of the show oh were they? um <clears throat> um but now we have a very special edition of we got this with mark and hal and janet varney janet <gasps> There, don't what? why would I seem surprised? I don't need to ever <laughs> seem surprised to be on a show I've been confirmed for, have rehearsed for, and was Are waiting not, in the back. Yeah. We're not doing the surprise thing anymore. I, no, 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 no surprise. Into oh, it, my God, we like, oh my god, what? Oh my god, so surprised. <laughs> did we all wear the same? Did we do this on purpose? <laughs> so crazy. What? I just thought for some I was like, I'll put on my Max Fun shirt. I don't know. I just thought I would put it on and my pen. I don't know. I don't know. Um <laughs> wonderful surprise party thank you so much everyone thank you for the surprise it's not even my birthday this has been so fun um this is all about you (laughs) this is your day uh and thanks to everybody who's out there uh donating money uh to a wonderful cause um we uh are mark and hal if we got this with mark and hal and we have our very special guest janet varney on here uh and we thought it would be fun uh with janet who is the host of the jv club who ends every one of her episodes with a game of mash but nobody ever, uh, Janet's never on the other side of the MASH game. So we're going to swap shows right now. And we have a MASH right here, ready to play old school, teenager style MASH with Janet Varney. But you, right. usually it takes like, because tw- it would be almost 20 to 30 minutes to play a MASH game. Janet, but we don't have we that don't much have time. We don't have that kind of time. We have, and you yeah, know what? Zero, we're, we're already almost done. We have to get yeah. through this. We okay, are not okay. going. We're not going to. We don't want reasons okay. for any of these. These are these are flash okay. right off the top okay. of your head things. Okay, okay. are you we ready? Doing this? We're this three is... people who could not order up a menu quickly. <laughs> All three of us <laughs> would be like, "What do you think this I should have?" This is us. Have? This is us. How will you? It, would it be okay with you if I had French? Fr- I can't tell. Uh, I, don't I mean, if feelings. we split a uh, sweet I potato from something, uh, no, uh, so without be sad or. Oh God, guys, we have to do this. All right, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's how you want to just uh you want to just alternate back and forth with topics oh yes gosh. of course Great. i do all uh, right i'll start janet yes yes uh janet uh if you yes. could live in the world of any movie i want your top oh, okay. three choices okay three okay. movies whose world you would live uh, in okay okay uh okay I, I don't i can't think about this i can't think about it. i don't I put, think just go i can't believe i put people through this this is a nightmare i'm in a nightmare yeah. right now <laughs> um okay uh, uh sense and sensibility why would i want to be there only because of emma thompson i i'm freaking out uh, Eternal Sunshine, the spot was mine. Sure, it makes you dizzy, but it's cool. Um, and okay. uh, 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 let's go classic Amelie. A- Amelie, adorable. Uh, the, 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 it's a beautiful Montre- version of Paris. Montmartre in Paris. Montmartre in Paris. Uh, Montmartre, Amelie version of Montmartre. <laughs> okay, Hal, topic. <sighs> All right. But for, but second of, uh, Mark, you look like you're at 127 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's the quick release. I have the quick I release. Okay. I always have All it right. on. That's smart. I'm sorry. That's smart. I'm just, Janet. <laughs> Yes. What are three foods? Uh, if you could have, the, you can have this food in perpetuity. There are no okay. ill effects from it at all. Three okay. foods. Okay. Uh, the, the, the giant Mrs. Fields cookie that, that has uh, all of that weird, awful frosting all over it. Uh, Correct. Uh, warm. Uh, 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 ice Correct. cream, gold medal ribbon, but uh, in a blizzard form with other things in it, possibly Reese's Pieces. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, and one more. Final, final one: uh, 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 mac and cheese, uh, the crispy, real when it was real baked, crispy, all the crisp. Ooh, the top. Oh. baked right. mac and cheese, great. Okay, uh, Janet Varney. This is awful. Yeah, I know. This is this is your nightmare. I realize. I like that you keep calling my name as if there might be someone else who has to answer a question at any point. Nope. Uh, okay, that's uh, Let's see. Uh, Janet Varney. Is there Janet Varney here? Yes, that's me. Great, great. Okay, uh, superpower. Go. Three superpowers. Uh, superpower. Teleportation. Uh, uh-huh. pa- pausing time. Uh, super healing. Healing people's hearts and bodies. Great. Got it. Hal, you're up. Hearts and bodies. 
Janet Varney 2020. <laughs> All right, three musicians that you would want creating the soundtrack of your life. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, three musicians, soundtrack of my life. A Bon Iver, uh, Stevie Wonder, uh, Mark Kozilek. Who? Sure. Who? Mark Kozilek. Mark Kozilek. Sure. Did you yeah. make that last one up? I sure didn't. Okay. So I'm literally phonetically writing cause a lick. I, got I don't know what warning. brings the lick about. I don't even know okay. when. That's fine. Wait, I didn't okay. even know any women. This is awful. This is awful. This is my worst nightmare. Yes. Janet. Janet. Uh, yeah. You're take, uh, in, in this world that you're visiting, uh, you're taking a lover with you. Who's the lover you're taking with you? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, Emma Thompson. Um, uh, awesome. Uh, 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 Lucy Davis. Um, uh-huh. And uh, 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 I'm going to say Colin Mockery because I just had him on the podcast and I couldn't think they were wonderful and I'm a little in love with him. Great. Hal, you're up. Sure. All right. Uh, last one. This is the very last one. I promise that I did just close the app that had it. All right. Uh, who would you have? Uh, what job other than yours would you want to attempt? Oh, okay. Yeah. Attempting a job. I like that it's attempting. It's clear I'm not going to do it correctly. <laughs> well, attempt out. means try and fail. Attempt means try and fail. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's be uh, let's be a teacher, um, like an art teacher, because I'm not a good artist. Uh, let's do um, uh, like a sing like a singing something singing telegram singing telegram singing telegram. <laughs> um, and uh, let's do wrestler. Let's go straight up wrestler. Great. Wrestler. All right. Uh, and now one last question. Tell me yes. when to stop. Stop. Okay, ready. Hal, you two uh, have a conversation amongst yourselves. Janet, it's possible we'll run out of time and we'll have to reveal these answers. And in it, our uh, second, a different se- we have segment. another segment. Janet, yeah, what do you really think be. of Mark while he's tabulating? He's I don't think attention. that he's a good tabulator. That's really yeah. my only critique of Mark. It's so it's unfortunate yeah. that he's the one who's tabulating. If you had asked me yeah. to pick three tabulators, I would have yeah. picked Travel. Mm-hmm. I would have picked Jared. I yep. would have picked Manolo. I would That's not right. repeat. Would not. Have hey, guess what? I already got Mark. it. Hello. Oh, Are you guys ready? Okay. We got All one right. minute. Janet, you're going to be living uh, in the world of sense and sensibility. You're going to be Great. living in a mansion there. Oh, you're going to okay, be okay. eating nothing but gold gold medal blizzards. Uh, you are going to have the superpower of healing while you listen to Stevie Wonder's music uh, and making love to Colin Mockery. Uh, when you get home from your job as a singing telegram. And that is the Janet Varney Ultra Fast Mash. I apologize to every guest I've ever had that I've made do mash because that was the most stressful <laughs> experience I've had. And we're living in strange times right now. Thank you. Tell you what, what here's what we're going to do. Janet, you've, you've built a dream life for yourself. Via, have via I? No, have I? <laughs> yes. We're going to welcome back Travel and please, Jared. Please, we'll be back later. Our wonderful we're going to come back. You can't get MCs. enough of us. We will return, and that is the promise. So hold on, to before you, you guys yes. leave, a couple of Please. things. Yes. Yeah, I went and matched my shirt. <gasps> yeah, <Yay. laughs> nobody um, told me. Mine's right outside the door. You don't need to change say, a thing. You don't need. No, to don't change a thing. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I've been sitting here playing the game along with you, and I, you said like if I could live in the world of any. Mo- oh, by the way, your fries are showing up. Uh, you ordered the fries earlier, oh, and <laughs> here, so. oh. Um, Ooh, I can I have I, was thinking, I want I here here here. I was Ooh, thinking nice. I would want to live either in the world of Black Panther or Beyonce's Blackest King. Oh, Sorry, they both have black in the title. You guys will be it's fine. It's really okay. It's really okay. <laughs> Wakanda, Wakanda, you never have to go to a doctor. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, come on. Well, thank you guys yeah. for that. I want to play this game on your show. This was really oh. fun. Oh, honey, you're coming on the show. <laughs> you know I started. So, yeah, you know I started I'm email so stopping you though. yesterday. So don't you even? <laughs> Did I not? Thanks, Did I immediately? Thanks for not? playing yes. with us. Thanks Thank for y'all. playing with us. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in a little <laughs> bit. You. See ya. Bye, everybody. All right. Um, All right. Wait, Travel. If you had to live in the world of a movie, which one would it be? Which one would it be? Um, uh, uh, Babs. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm yes. here for it. Okay. And we actually have our next guest is here with us already. Yes. Um, I love this because I have to say, right before the last segment, I said that, like, you know, oh, I feel like we've already done this. And it's because I confused Lori with Jackie. And the reason why I did it is because I was wearing my fashion glasses, not my reading glasses. And so I, see, I couldn't. I see. 
see. My fashion ones are red. They match the lip. Okay. Your joke um, hole. <laughs> the joke hole. You yes. lighting up your joke hole. Anyway, anyway, Lori Kilmartin of the Jackie and Lori Show. How are you doing? I'm good. That was that explanation was worse than the actual sin. And you should have just pretended you didn't do it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm fine. Thank you. Well, I'm already gonna... in love with her. Already in love with her. <laughs> we're gonna pass off the mic to you. Make Shoot. us laugh. All right. Oh, it's my my turn in the script next. That, that's um, you. That, that, that is me. That that that's you. That was a little distracted. My bad. Um, okay. So <laughs> the script says that it is time for can I <laughs> your questions, and I don't know what that means. Uh, but there are a whole mess of Max Fun hosts in this video. It's got C I P Y D host. C-Y-P, pet, yes, can I pet your dog? That's it. C-I-P-Y-P. Have you seen this before? Post, shut up. Um, Renee Colvert and Alexis Preston, as well as Troubled Waters host Dave Holmes, One Bad Mother's Biz Ellis, and Minority Corner's James Arthur. Let's see what questions they patent. Well, happy Max Fun Drive, everybody. I am Dave Holmes, host of Maximum Fun's Troubled Waters, the comedy panel show that pits comedians against each other to settle debates that are not important at all. Uh, today, we are doing a very special limited edition, limited number of questions, dog themed quiz with some of your favorite Max Fun hosts. Let's meet them. Playing tonight are. James Arthur, host of Minority Corner. Hello, James. What up, Dave Holmes? Hey, everybody. Glad to be here. I love you all, but I'm not here to make friends, just to win. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's coming in hot. Uh, also, from one bad mother, the great Biz Ellis. Woo! I am How are also you? here. I'm good. I'm going to make friends and then crush friends. How does that <laughs> oh sound? Oh, my God. That, yeah, is that good? Well, sounds like I guess that's parenting. what's up. Yep. I guess that's what's up. Uh, and of course, no dog theme trivia quiz would be complete without the co-hosts of Can I Pet Your Dog, Alexis Preston, and Renee Colbert. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Hi. I came here to lose friends. Okay. <laughs> so. Done. We yeah. all got to do some some cleaning. We all got to condo our friends. Yeah. Uh, Renee, how are you? Well, I came here to add friends. I'm in the wrong Zoom. I'm just here to make some money. <laughs> all right, folks. Ah. Um, we started this off wrong. Sorry. Love you all. <laughs> here's, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, it would be chaos if all four of you played against each other. So I'm going to split you up into teams. It would also be unfair to have the Can I Pet Your Dog hosts against anyone else in a dog themed trivia quiz. So, Fair. Fair. Renee and James. Okay. You're a yes. team. I love you. you Alexis and Biz, you're Woo! a team. Oh, we've teamed before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no, okay. we've, teamed, we've teamed near each other, but not. Yeah, we have it, it counts because we're Wait, next to each yeah. other. Sure. Okay. Fair. Right. Um, uh, Biz and Alexis, do you have a team name? Uh, we uh, also like cats. I don't know. Well, that's good too. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll do it. Yeah. Bizexis. Yeah, there it is. Bizexis. I like yeah, that. I like that. There that's a go. portmanteau and I love those. Mm -hmm. Uh, James and Renee, how about you? Can I pet your corner? Obviously. <laughs> Can I pet your corner? <laughs> Versus <laughs> Bizexis. Okay. So keep <laughs> those buzz in words. Okay. At the ready as we play the first and possibly last ever episode of Can I Pet Your Questions? <laughs> Love it. Here we go. Great. Okay. Question number one. Question number one. Okay. The pets.com sock puppet dog was sued for 20 million by what other famous dog? Can I pet your corner? Uh, James. <laughs> Did you see the regret in my Always face? Always going to be weird. Yeah. yeah. Right Nobody away. liked it. Nobody liked it. Oh, I no. I was, I, I just started <laughs> thinking, I was thinking sock puppets. I was going to go with Lamb Chop, who is clearly um, not a dog. Uh, no. Here's what I was going to say. Who was on what? the dog at Target. 
Mm. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Biz X is to steal. It, it's that dog that smokes a cigar and yells at everybody. What is that dog? My my partner's mm. frozen. Uh, he's like a oh that dog with the cigar and he yells at people. Yeah, that guy. Is that, is that Alexis. Yeah. <laughs> Intervene he's, uh, he's got a name. He's got a name. Sure does have a name. Yeah, and, and he's grumpy. Oh, he's like. Oof. Does he have an accent? <laughs> Fake. Like, I, I can't reveal he does have an accent. Yeah. Ooh. He's he's that smoking dog. Yeah. That hates people. Oh, the insult oh. dog. Isn't he like an insult oh. dog? Oh. Yes. Yes. What? Yes. But he's I need the, more. Like his name. Oh, and so the insult dog. These uh, uh oh god. I'm so cool. Yeah. This is this is just like my time on Jeopardy. You get uh, one third of a point for that. Uh, it's Triumph, trick. right? Triumph. triumph. The insult comic go. dog. Can, can we also get a little yep. bit of a point? Yeah, I kind of mentioned it. There. Of points no. 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 no, it's not the way it works, James. I'm sorry. Okay, just mm. check in. Just okay. Test the uh, He would go on. Okay, question number two. He would go on to have other catchphrases, but what was the first catchphrase for the Taco Bell Chihuahua? Oh, Ben Bizexis. Biz Bizexis. Isn't it Yo Quiero Taco Bell? Damn. That is correct. Yeah. Woo! Is correct. Woo! Well done. Now in it, James, we're fine. We're gonna we're it's warming okay. up. We're warming up. I still, yeah. Are we still good. friends? Are we friends? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody is calling <laughs> their friend list after this. Okay, we got uh, we got Bizexis with one and one third points. Taking a drink, <laughs> and I get yeah. your corner with nothing. Uh, what song asks the musical questions, why must I be like that? Why must I chase the cat? And it's, we've already got that as the dog catcher. <laughs> uh, no. no. Bizek says. Oh, that's not on the table. That's not a thing at all? <laughs> no, got it, okay. Just check it's, it, it's, all right. I know it is not this. I, Alexis, I, I ain't nothing but a hound dog, like a hound dog kind of thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up and walk out of my own house. I know. <laughs> no. Who no. no. let the dogs out? Is that who let the dogs out? No, it's not who let the dogs out. I want you to know before this, I stared at a chart of dog breeds just in case there's a breed oh. question. Oh, and that has not been funny. helpful at all. Okay. Mm. That's no. not where we're going to. Nope. Mm. Mm. Not on can I bet your questions. Yep. Mm. Uh, a dog ponders final answer. No, that, I can't whoa, accept I don't it. It is that, Atomic that, Dog uh, Atomic Dog by George Clinton. Okay. Ah, oh, so we, were, we were so close, Renee. We were. Ugh, like, we were very close. Almost it's not even a little close. <laughs> yeah. We're very close. You we guys, in all the marbles, for all the marbles. All the marbles. These are really um, hard dog here's a questions. There's question. Yes. Well, so here's one that's more of an essay question. Okay. Um, okay. And it's more of a thinker. And I yeah. will give it to whoever is most persuasive. Why <laughs> is it that when you call someone a dog, you're calling them ugly, but when you call someone a fox, you're calling them hot? Explain. Uh. Uh, when dogs are the most beautiful creatures and foxes are stone killers. Mm. Who mm. aren't any more attractive mm. in my estimation. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, it, this excess. See, this yeah. is interesting yes. because I do feel that like when you call someone a dog, it is also sometimes a term of affection. You are mm. my dog. Yeah. Uh, there may be a different spelling. But if you said you are a dog, <laughs> Yeah, they would not. You might be it. a hound dog. You might sometimes a dog might be like a fox in a hen house. Sometimes yeah. the two are so similar, so yeah. closely related that possibly are, aren't we really saying there's beauty to behold in the slyness uh, of because it's not a yeah it, yeah. There's something intertwining about the mm -hmm. ugly side of. Uh, sneaking around. There, I've, I'm hmm. done. Do you like that? Interesting. It went like this. Mm -hmm. It did. It was yeah. yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, James, maybe we can partner on this. You can address the fox. Yeah. I'll address the dog. Yeah. It is a short yeah. break. It's been truncated. Uh, you mm. are like a dog mm. that has farted, and now the room is confused. 
Because it's oh. the bad thing they do. That's the only mm. bad thing they do. It's the only bad thing that they ever do. Game night, yeah. and then oops, whoops a doops. So that's uh-huh. it's, if we were allowed to finish it, we would agree. Oh yeah, you were the only bad thing about it, dog. Um, I see. And then the fox element, James. Well, with the James? with the fox, it's because there's just a lot more mystery with the fox. It's more elusive. It's sort of like, uh-huh. oh, who is she? Who is she? So we make it up in our mind, this imagination, <laughs> sort of what it is. With the uh-huh. dogs, like you're saying, we know so much information. Some of us have been bitten by them. We we love them. There's so much. But with the fox, it's just it's elusive. Who is she? Who oh, is she? Well, okay. It, it, I, yeah, Alexis. Oh. No, <laughs> Alexis. Yeah, yeah, yeah help us out. I have something I'd like to. Yeah. I think it's pretty simple. I think that it is that we often don't see the beauty right in front of us, Mm. uh, which is the dog and foxes. They're so mysterious. And like, do they scream or what's their sound? We don't know. And we want to see that mystery. But at the end of the day, it's the dog that's there next to you. Yeah, I was going to say there might be some sort of uh, like... uh, sort of women's studies like approach I could take to this while the dog is always, the dog is clearly the man. Uh, The fox, James, is already identified as a lady, right? Mm -hmm. She's so mysterious. She's so out there. We always fantasize about that thing that we cannot have, the mystery. And uh, yeah, and as as, uh, Alexis said, that dog's just laying there next to you. So Also to point out it's just more fun to be like oh she's foxy right you can't be like oh she's foxy, foxy. Right? doggy like he's doggy. Dog brings it down so it's just semantics yeah. really about like how even oh she's words. adorable just... and fluffy and loyal yeah yeah it doesn't, it's not <laughs> yes, right no one foxy. wants that you yeah. can't just feel like foxy it's a shimmy that comes out of it and dog just mm. like it drops the shoulders it just sort of it, it pulls you down just how mm. we say yeah words. You guys were all very close. The correct answer is dogs represent unconditional love. Humans can't accept it, and we devalue the ones who give it to us. They call them ugly. <laughs> oh, well, there's a specific essay answer. Got Fair it. Enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you, 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 I, there wasn't one until everyone started talking, and then it actually hit me. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Hit me. Okay. All right. But you know, so again, Dave I wins. pet your so corner. Dave wins. <laughs> yeah, I do win, but yes. I give my points to can I pet your corner? Yep. That was a five point question, you guys. Wow. You Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, you really good Russian. job. <laughs> I didn't come here to make friends, but I did because we won, and so winning equals friendship. I love it. Like everybody, love congratulations. Also, so. yeah. Yeah. I, Honestly, I really am more of a cat person. Just for so it's okay. Yeah. I would say. I'm gonna yeah. mute you everybody right wins. now. Um, thank you guys all for hanging out, and happy Max Fun Drive. Travel, is it is it good? Is it, is it good? Is the snack food treating you well? Y'all had to go get me a snack, y'all, okay? It's I, dinner time. It's entertaining. Okay? I had to go get me a snack. I still have I still have Janet Varney's fries. And let me tell you, they are hitting. I just got me some, um, what do you call these things? Frosted flakes. No milk. Um, what is with you and the cereal with no milk thing? Are you okay? I'm a purist. What can I say? I, it just feels <laughs> weird. Every time you say that, I'm like, is everything all right? Do I need to send you some milk? Okay, let's give the people some updates, all right? So first <laughs> update. <laughs> Moving first on, update, I'm okay. Um, at the request, so, slash not so much request from um, one of our commenters, Meow Sickle. That's what I'm going with, Meow Sickle. Um, the librarian glasses, they said, is a, is a strong choice, so I put them back on. But if I misread the script again, this is all your fault. Um, <laughs> just to let you know. Um, and then I also switched into my Max Fun Drive shirt as well. Um, but my I need to go change. Gets, listen, my closet gets very hot. So this will be switched right back into that tank top. <laughs> very, very soon. <laughs> okay, um, give the people an update on how much we've raised thus far for Give Directly. Yes, I'm really excited to let you know that there might be a graphic down here or down there or somewhere or... I don't know. Um, <laughs> we have, uh, yes, we've been uh, raising money all day. 
uh, or all night, I should say, uh, for the last hour, and we have raised $1,130 and counting. So we are kicking ass. Um, if you are interested in, you know, uh, giving for Give Directly, uh, you can support uh, the, the initiative that we're doing here at MaximumFun.org slash Give Directly, as it says on the bottom of the screen. Give Directly helps people out that are directly affected by COVID-19, and all of the money that we're raising tonight is going to go to them to helping out folks um, that really need it. Very much so, very much so. I think we're we're being, t I'm hearing in my ear, the the, op the the control room is saying that we have our operator system back up and running again. Um, okay, okay. And this means that we have, oh, look at that. We have, um, <laughs> we have a special, <laughs> special correspondent um, on, on the, on the phone lines, you know? I, I think. I, I, I believe that we have Jennifer Marmor's poodle. Yes. J oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, and I, I guess I'm an operator now, too. I'm getting a... Hello? You should mute yourself, and oh. I'll just take it. We oh, got this so is many my people. mama. One second. This is my mama. Hold on. Everyone's taking calls. Hold on. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, if you guys are interested in participating, go to Maximum. I'm going to be right back, sweetie. Uh, MaximumFun.org slash give directly for your ways <laughs> to be able to participate as we wrap up the Max Fun Drive. Um, if you're interested in joining Maximum Fun and becoming a member and, you know, signing up for the shows that you love, shout out to Fanti. Uh, you can go to MaximumFun.org <laughs> slash join uh, for all the information on the last day here of the Maximum Fun Drive. And again, MaximumFun.org slash give directly uh, for the benefit that we're doing tonight. And I guess we should tell people, right, who maybe you don't know, maybe you stumbled into a YouTube hole and you just discovered these fabulous, You saw the live logo and like, what's that? Faces. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Max Fun is the network that we are on and we are an audience supported network. That means your monies help us do what we do okay and the money that you pledge to give to the different shows they're split you know between the different shows that you you can when you log in to maximumfund.org slash join you can just check boxes and stuff and select shows you can just select fantai that is acceptable but if you like some of the other good good that max fund provides you as well you can check those shows as well and divide your commitments among all of the wonderful shows so yes that's Max fun, support if you can. And if you can't, just tell somebody about the goodness that we are providing you. Tell a friend, as they used to say in the church, okay? Uh -huh. I just want someone to say, they're providing goodness. That's what I want them <laughs> to be saying now. That's what I'm always for. Coming up um, on the show, we have Mission to Zix. But first, the people I'm sure have been looking at your background, your beautiful background. Uh, Jared, for those of you who don't know, is a great interior designer. He designed that all by himself. Um, and that's important because we have a new segment coming up that I think, I think you're going to like this segment, okay? Because okay. you like drawing and painting and all of that, right? We have the one and only Dan McCoy fixing to learn us some drawing, okay? With his charcoal pencil. So let's okay. do this. We're going to follow along. You're going to draw a picture of me. I'm going to draw a picture of you. And Dan is going to draw a picture of a special somebody that you will see shortly. And then when we come back, we're going to show the people what we put together. Okay, that cool? This feels like a trap, and I'm excited to jump into it. Yeah, so let's please play the real McCoy. <laughs> Hey there, I'm uh, Dan McCoy of Max Fun's The Flop House. I'm gonna do a little drawing with you today. Uh, I think for fun, we're just gonna draw the Max Fun podfather himself, Jesse Thorne. Now, before you draw, of course, you want to assemble all of your tools. First off, we have the pencil. Uh, a lot of people like to use art pencils that have different hardnesses. If you've ever seen like HB and a number on the side of a pencil, that tells you how hard the lead is, or I mean, lead is a misnomer, of course, it's graphite. Um, and if you want sort of a smaller, sharper line, you might go with a harder graphite. I personally mainly just stick to the softer graphite myself because I think it gives you a greater uh, variance of the type of line you can get. You can really lay down a lot of 
uh, uh, line if you want to, or you can do it a little lighter, a little pointier uh, on your uh, approach to the paper and get a thinner line. And uh, this one, I don't know, someone gave it to me. It's all graphite, basically. Um, and I've really taken to it. As you can see, it's, uh, it's uh, worn down quite a bit at this point. Next, you'll want an eraser. Uh, a lot of people use kneaded erasers. Uh, if you're a pro, kneaded erasers are kind of the ones that people like. I've never quite gotten the hang of using it, so I use uh, this one, which is kind of a step up from the kind of eraser you would have on the back of a pencil, which really can destroy your drawing. I don't know the name of this. I should have done more research, but if you see an eraser that looks like this, it's a pretty good type of eraser. And lastly, I'm going to use a Bristol board for the drawing today. Um, this is a smooth uh, a drawing surface. The paper is smooth. A lot of people like to have a, a more textured paper to pick up uh, the graphite that you're laying down a little more, give it a little texture as well. Uh, I like that better for things like watercolors. Um, I like the smoothness of the Bristol board. It's a heavy paper, and I like it because if you're inking it, it'll take, take the ink well without uh, bleeding, which you don't want. Now, of course, if you want to draw someone, uh, best to uh, get some reference for that person. Uh, so I've got this handsome feller pulled up on my computer. It's a nice big photo that I found at the MaxFun website itself. Uh, so let's get to drawing. Before we start, a little peek behind the curtain. The uh, tripod setup I have here is very shoddy. I've actually um, used one of those bendy leg tripods and clamped it around my adjustable lamp. Uh, so let's hope it doesn't fall or jiggle too much and you may be getting a bit of a distorted uh, view of the page, but it's the best I can do. Let's start by uh, just sort of roughing in the shape of the head, which is the first thing you want to do. Jesse's uh, got a nice big uh, sort of round dome here with a, it straightens out on the side. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I'm going to be talking about the way you look, uh, but there's no way around it. Now, the eyes fall right in the middle of the head. Um, that may seem counterintuitive uh, to a lot of people. A lot of people uh, draw the eyes a lot higher on the face because they don't know how much uh, stuff goes up top, but um, they fall about halfway down and then the nose bisects that and the mouth basically bisects that. Um, and so you rough in here, Jesse's got a little bit of a sort of an almond shape eye. The uh, eyes are about an eye length apart. I've done it not so great here, but you know what? My drawing might not be so great here because I'm going to be talking at the same time. We'll see how it goes. Um, I usually start with the eyes. A lot of people start with the nose. That seems crazy to me. Here I'm putting in the eyes while leaving a little sort of bit of lightness there for the uh, the light catches the eye. Now, let's see, you can do a lot of stuff with expression here. Right now he looks a little angry. Um, I'm sort of beefing up the bottom here so you get the smile lines. Uh, he's got a lot of bags here probably from having to deal with chumps like us and he's got some crow's feet. Um, now, one thing I like is, is to give the lines a certain amount of variance, you know, that, that can sort of, um, make up for a lot of shortcomings in your drawing, I find. Um, you know, I, uh, started out doing a lot of, uh, um, let's call it, uh, cartooning, because that's the name of it. Sorry, it's hard to think while I'm drawing at the same time. And, um... When you're cartooning, like, you don't necessarily, at least if you're me, start out by doing a lot of uh, drawing from life and, like, getting your fundamentals down. So I've sort of uh, coasted 
on style in a lot of ways. You know, I've uh, I haven't gotten the fundamentals of like, you know, how a body actually works. I did a little uh, life drawing recently to try and get that done, but um, but you know, if you if you fancy it up a little bit, sometimes with these um, variances in line and uh, just little stylistic tricks, you can cover up for some of the weak points. Now Jesse's got this nose that sort of comes in here, but then it he's got the outside, it kind of dips down, gets a little pointier, flattens out. I think I've made his nose a little wider than it is, but hey, like I said, I'm not doing my best work right now because I'm talking. I could not be a Bob Ross. Get this smiles in here. It's got a big old smile because you're donating to Max Fun. Get that in. Uh, ears fall sort of around the top of the eye and come down around to where the nose is. I don't like to rough in a lot of the ear curls myself because it gets a little fussy uh, pretty quickly. And so you can just kind of get away with suggesting a lot of this stuff. Uh, now, Jesse is a man without a lot of hair up top and a lot of hair on the bottom. So let's just uh, kind of give him what he has here. Uh, a little, maybe a little indication of where he didn't shave his head fully or whatever. Whatever he does, he's got a, I might imagine he's got a, like a little bit of a razor that uses that. Um, and now let's get into the mouth here. A lot of this is covered by big bushy mustache, sort of a, he's got a big ZZ top mustache and beard that kind of, the mustache comes out like this. Right now he's looking like kind of an old prospector. Um, and he's got his bottom lip here, smiling. Um, now the, the reference drawing, you see a lot of his teeth. I find that if you like put the actual lines in indicating the teeth, invariably the person that you're doing is going to look, look kind of buck tooth and they won't like you anymore. So just kind of indicate the bottom of where a tooth might be, you know, and uh, all right, putting in the beard big giant beard that I'm glad he shaved. I'm sorry, Jesse. I know you love it. I like my Jesse Thorns looking less like a mountain man. Now, here's where you can just sort of, again, indicate stuff, maybe darken in like parts of it because there'll be like little shadows, of course, when you're talking hair comes down way down here. I don't even know whether this is being picked up on the thing at this point. Um, but here we go. And uh, yeah, and then, you know, a lot of the rest of it is just sort of shading stuff in, seeing where the light source is. I mean, if you're making it up, you kind of have to choose a light source. If you're doing it off of a off of a drawing, you can kind of see for yourself where the light source is. Now, if I was going to finish this drawing, this is this is the point at which I might, um, you know, get in there with some inks and do that instead of just kind of fiddling as I'm doing now. Um, but we don't really have time for that. Um, and that's Jesse. He looks a little like, um, you know, current. David Letterman in this photo, uh, but we did what we could, and that's drawing with Dan. Thanks for watching. That was good. I'm pretty impressed. Like, yeah, that was legit, especially to see it come together like that. So, have, did you do your drawing? I did. I want to see yours first. Okay, here's my drawing. 
Can the people see? I'm going to hold it up like an influencer. Um, here you go. So I went with the glasses. You can see the freckles. Um, now I went with a more boxy figure because, you know, obvious. Um, and then... Oh, really? <laughs> you do this to me on national television? This is not wow. national television. Don't do that. Yeah, okay, whatever it is. It's fine. Um, Let me see yours. Uh, I just sat it in some water, so there's some wetness, but like... I I feel like I did okay. Your and, hair doesn't fit in the frame. That, okay. You have tiny ears. It. We always make fun of you about that. I have a very big I, head, apparently. Huh? W no. Okay. You know what? I, I tried. Okay. okay? I, like I tried. <laughs> um, for all of you uh, Mission to Zix fans out there, prepare to be wowed by the improvisational skills of Bargy the Ship Captain Dar and Plek Dexeter. I hope I said all that right. Probably I'm going didn't. back to drawing. I probably <laughs> didn't, um, but I'm going to keep drawing. Take a look. Hey, everybody. I'm Mujan Zafagari. I'm Alden Ford. And I'm Ali Kokesh. And we're all from Mission to Zix. Yeah. And we are definitely have an interesting talent for you. Um, yeah, unrelated, unrelated to our work on Mission to Zix. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're, our, our talent is that we, the three of us as a group, are uh, expert uh, podcast developers. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we thought that, uh, you know, just to kind of give back to the Max Fun community. Yeah, and, you and know, these, these are, are sure free fire, ideas. Yeah, yeah, free ideas. Yeah, Surefire sure winners. You're going to get a billion subscribers. I'm going to say in five hours. Yeah. Yeah. Give yeah. or take, you know, no take. guarantees. But yeah. Uh, yeah, well, let's kick it off. All right. Ready? Okay, great. Um, so, Mushan, why don't you explain how this how sure. this so brainstorming process, process works? So, our process generally works uh, is basically we all provide a word that comes from inside of our bodies mm -hmm. and <laughs> uh, merge those words together, and Bing, Bang, Boo, you there you go, money making. Yep, exactly. So, uh, Mushan, why don't you kick us off? We'll get started. Sure. <clears throat> all right. Uh, here's a word coming out of my brain. It's called technology. Is hard. technology hard. is hard? Bing, bong, Bing, bong, bong, dong, 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 dong. Hello. I'm Walter, here again. Uh, oh, doesn't, oh, okay. Yes, I'm recording. <laughs> I'm Walter here with Technology is Hard, uh, the podcast that I uh, record while I'm waiting for my, my son to get here and help me with the email. Did you Walter? figure it out? Walter? Walter? Uh, yes, these are, Walter. My two, these are my two spouses. Yes, what is it? Miranda? Well, we were talking, we were talking, and um, we would like help. With the the Roku, the uh, Roku is you, you've asked the wrong guy. Listen, I I run a podcast about how technology is hard. How do I've I actually, turn the oven off? I, I've been leaving oh it. No, open that barely qualifies. Oh, oh. Perfect, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. All right, let's keep, podcast. keep going. Don't change keep going. a thing. All right, second idea, Alden. What's up? Mm, mm, okay, okay, here we go. Um, welcome to corn. Welcome to corn. My name is Jeremy Corn, and with me I have my corn that I've dressed up into my friends as I wait quarantine alone in my shed. My first friend, her name is Vanessa. I'm Vanessa, and I am a husk of corn. My second friend is named Peter. Hi, I'm Peter. Happy quarantine. And now I make them hug. I make them hug for me. I make them all for me. Perfect. And all, did you all catch? Did you all catch that play on words? Corn. Corn. <gasps> quarantine. All right. Next one, Alden. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh, next idea is um, tire. Patrick. No. 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 Patrick, stop! Don't do it. No. Hi, this is Patrick. This is where I try and talk myself out of doing things that I shouldn't do because I know I shouldn't do them. Today, I'm going to talk myself out of texting my ex-girlfriend. Do it. Patrick, do it. Patrick, you have to text the new. Uh, no, Patrick, no. Ha, okay, success. <laughs> nice. Woo! All right, great, 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 great. See, All right, let's yeah. do one final one. Let's okay. do one final one. Alden, sorry, no. Okay, uh, this... Uh, Excellent podcast is called Did Aaron Rule 
<laughs> hey, welcome back to Did Aaron Rule. My name is Aaron, and I'm here with my high school buddies from 1998. First oh, man. up, first up oh. Jennifer Anderson. Oh, Aaron, you were so funny in high school. I got really? it. You were so funny. You would make the funniest jokes for sure. Well, thank you. Thank you. I guess I did sort of rule for a little while. What about that time I almost made the basketball team? Uh, speaking as your best friend, uh, Kyle, it ruled. <laughs> Case right, closed. That's awesome. that's Good so stuff. Cool. Good stuff. Nostalgia always nostalgia. with an yeah. audience. Confidence, yeah. it mm -hmm. really works. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, you know, guys, uh, take that to the fucking bank. That's uh, right there. But don't to... involve our names. Don't make us part of it. Like, please don't, please don't mention us. Please yes. don't mention us. Exactly, exactly. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, happy Max Fun Drive, and thanks for having us. Yeah, and check out Mission to Zix. It's on somewhere. Uh, yeah, listen, probably. Bye. Bye. Um, <clears throat> just want to <laughs> say to Patrick, been there. Been there. I know what it's like to really try not to send that text. I get Have it. Have you really? I, <laughs> I, sort of. You know, I mean, maybe not to a woman, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, we want to welcome you back to the Max Fun Drive Live. Uh, I, I am Jarrett Hill. I'm joined by my co-host, Travel. We both host Fanti, a uh, brand new show here on Maximum Fun. You can check out our show. Is it still Thursday. brand new? I, I think for the first year, you can say that. Mm. It started in February. I mean, we got what? 20 something episodes it's new adjacent okay what do you want from new ish me? it's new ish okay right it's produced by <laughs> kenya barris so um <laughs> i just want to do an update for you all about uh the money that we're raising for give directly so far in an hour and 23 minutes we have already raised 1415 dollars uh, one thousand four hundred fifteen dollars raised for Give Directly so far. We want to thank everyone who's donated to this great charity, which provides direct cash payments to families and individuals impacted financially by COVID nineteen. If you'd like to participate in the excitement and make a donation to this organization, go to our website maximumfund.org. I had a hiccup; like literally, it, it was coming up as I was mm -hmm. talking. And That's I was like, the demon inside on, of you. Can I, can I get? You know what? That <laughs> I told you about that in confidence. Uh, go, if you want to participate and uh, give to this uh, fantastic organization, go to our website, MaximumFun.org slash gives directly. Um, operators still standing by. Not really sure what for, um, <laughs> but they're out there. But you can give your donation. MaximumFun.org slash gives directly. Before we move on, I did want to read out one of the comments we got earlier um, from Chris Con Contreras. Um, who says that Jared, oh, yes. is tr Jared is trying to look like those church stained glass with the glowing behind your head. Is that on purpose? You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> it wasn't the intention when I did it. The intention was actually the Lion King Rising Sun situation. That was what it was inspired by. Oh, so by. you was black as king it. before black was king. Hey! Ha -ha! <laughs> I don't know where Jennifer Lewis just came out of me. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, coming Shout out up to you, Chris, by the way. Coming up on the show, we've got the JV Club with Janet Varney and Mark and Hal. We'll also have some special tips with the host of Who Shot Ya. But first, Jared. Yes, but first, the host of Switchblade Sisters, April Wolf, demonstrates why she is bar none one of the best interviewers in the business. It's me and her, top two, and you know I am number two. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, what the hell about me? Wow. Uh, let's see why April deserves our most... Our utmost respect wow. and admiration. I, you're fine. Wow. Hi, this is April, host of Switchblade Sisters. And I wanted to show you guys something, you know, my special talent um, for the Max Fun Drive. And what some of you may not know is that I can actually speak to my cats. Uh, let me introduce you to Chicken. Chicken. Oh. Oh, what? Chicken, do, do you, I mean, I'm sorry to wake you up. You're not sorry. We just wanted to ask you a few questions about your movie taste. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell us what your favorite movie is? The Lake House or Sandra Boy and Keanu Reeves. It's better than Speed. And I just like it a lot. It makes me feel good. You don't think that that's a controversial uh, statement? 
Да, если все мы теперь не спим, я не пойду в рейдер, и я люблю мейлбаксы. Я думаю, она ходит на интервью, может быть, мы можем спросить ее брата несколько вопросов, возможно. Мне кажется, они имеют какой-то где-то здесь. Золи, Золи, я могу спросить у вас, какой ваш любимый фильм? Это сербский фильм. Accurately uh, depraves, uh, de depicts the depravity of hu humans. Oh, he, he likes the, the cult movies, I see. Um, so maybe can I ask who your favorite actors are? Do you, do you have a favorite actor, Zoli? Garfield. I don't like them, but I respect them. I mean, sure. I'd be, yeah, I guess they've, they've got some good roles. Um, Chicken, do you have a favorite actor? I like the mailbox from the lake house. Okay, I, I feel like we should wrap it up here. Um, I, I wasn't I wasn't expecting these uh, these answers, but I, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and um, you know maybe we can talk to the cats another time. Uh, thanks for you know joining the Max Fun Drive. It's uh, maximumfun.org/join. And uh, that's where you can become a member and uh, maybe specify that you listen to Switchblade Sisters specifically. Okay, bye. Um, you know what? I want, number one, I appreciate the way April holds the mic. Um, I want to do like an April interview with oh, someone that matters. Wow. Um, so, Travel. Uh, you don't want to do this? You're That's disrespectful. Fine. We we got a question here from Cal who wants to know how to donate to Chicken, and um, I guess you could become a member of Max Fun. Um, I would and, say if you select if you give to their show, April show, yeah, there you, go. you know, maximumfun.org/slash/join. In case you didn't know what link that was, how about that? <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Um, and you could also give to Fanti. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. It's okay. <laughs> um, shout out to April for uh, interviewing her cat named Chicken. I remember in elementary school having a friend who had a cat named Dog. Um, mm. Didn't interview as well. Different conversation. Ah. Um, but it was okay. Well, if you like the the movie tease, right, that April of the Switchblade Sisters gave us, we have another movie tease, I, I hope, uh, from the wonderful folks over at Who Shot Ya. They're going to be joining us. We have Alonzo Duralde, Iffy. I'm not going to mess up your last name. <laughs> I, I want to say it's wa Wadiwe, right? I think you said that right. You're great. And then Drea. Come on yeah, in. so Jaya, Jaya, uh, what do you all have for our viewers? Um, I've started already. Oh man, I don't. Oh, you got you got the pre you got the pre pre thing going. Yeah, I did some gel eye patches. Okay. I got excited when Travel brought up getting to hold up okay. products like an what? influencer. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> um, hi my sweet buddies who do who shot ya our movie podcast. <laughs> um, What's as up? you guys know, I'm addicted to skincare. And you have nicely allowed me to commandeer the vehicle of this little spot. Well, look, you know, you Alonzo. Know, boom, this is what I'm messing with. I got, I got okay. the, so the you, African black soap clarifying mud mask because you know your boy needs that um, good skins uh, on my face. That African oh, no, black soap I use all the time. I don't okay. use the mask, but it's it's great. So I'm going to whip through. What do you got there, Alonzo? Uh, I, I've got the L'Oreal Pure Clay that I got in a gift bag like four years ago, but it's still wet. Yeah, <laughs> it works. Still wet. Gross. Got you say that's a WAP? Uh, 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 no, uh, no WAP talk here, kid. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no. I also, I realized as I was saying it, WAP said is also a, like, like just no, I'm saying WAP is what I'm yes. trying to say. Uh, yes. Spoken, you know, WAP is not a, as, as, not as so good. The, 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 only, yeah. the only video with Kylie I care about is the one that Ms. Minogue They snuck her in week. there. They oh, really Lord. did sneak her okay, in there. Okay, we're definitely not talking about WAP. Oh, this sorry, is my sorry, moment. Sorry. <laughs> Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Run Don't with worry. it. I'm, I'm putting this my, I'm putting you, my skins okay, on. Okay, so you I'm guys get your masks good. on. I'm going to walk yes. you through my very extensive uh, regime, as uh, Alonzo called it. So first off, if you're ever wearing makeup during the day, I always do a double cleanse at night. Cleansing once is for children. I start with a balm, and then I end with a water-based cleanser, oil-based, water-based. 
They both get the job done. If I don't wear makeup, I just use it. You want gentle and you want to do anything um, skincare wise with your hands clean. After that, fellas, that the next over step, my facial hair, uh, Drea. Yeah, oh, don't even hurting. talk to me about facial hair, Iffy. Yeah, listen. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry then. I can't even grow a beard like you. You know how bad I love gentle, it. Gentle, easy rider over there is kicking your butt on the facial hair thing. Okay, so after cleansers, we do toners. I do toners that have um, like a chemical exfoliant in them. I alternate between AHAs and BHAs. Those are alpha hydroxy, beta hydroxy. One is water soluble. One is oil soluble. You're getting a theme here. You guys look adorable. Um, so for my um, AHA, or sorry, my BHA, I use Hello. a salicylic acid. And then this I'm showing for any actual skincare people, this is like a holy grail. This is your bio, Biologique Recherche uh, P50 lotion. It's stupid expensive. Don't look it up. You're just going to judge me. <laughs> I, was, I was told I had a good face for podcasting, and now I'm proving it. You look so cute. Alonzo has way hate. more on than me, and I don't know how he got his on faster than me. <laughs> Alonzo looks like you guys are definitely henchmen in very different yeah, movies. Alonzo looks like Mark Zuckerberg surfing. That I is, look like so Rob stupid. Zombie in House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'll take it. If he weirdly has the Joker colors. Okay, <laughs> after toner, you use an essence. I use this by Pyong Kang Yul. Korean skincare is a big thing that I follow, and Gu Kane loves to mock me for that, and I don't care. Um, <laughs> essence is great. It's moisturizing. It's sort of it's like a primer for skincare. It makes everything else go in better. And then, oh, also, I don't use all of these every day. So, I mean, I use too many of them, but I don't use all of them every day. Every morning, I do use niacinamide. It's lovely. It's a brightener. It, uh, it, it's another, everything I'm doing is sort of, you want like bright, bouncy, dewy skin. You probably want bright and bouncy like life as well. It's not a bad outlook to have. I, I always just thought you glowed from within, but now I see it. Hey, I don't oh, know. it's positively. No. It's I think, I think it's like, all, you know, it's all every day I wake up and I'm like, this is the day Megan Thee Stallion answers my DMs. Uh, you know, See, now it might be. Now you're gonna have that like dewy. I'm sure that's what she's looking for. I'm sure that's what she meant by that song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she was like, yeah. Iffy, you get, get back in these DMs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, in the evening, you guys, so the like the evening equivalent of my niacinamide, mm. I use alpha arbutin. And this is because, like, if you have any like skin discolorations, I have a little melasma bit here. It, it takes those down. If you've gotten nice. sunspots over the years, it evens out the skin tone. Mm. It's nice. And these brands, this is, oh my God, I get to do it. The, the influencer, huh? Cha-cha. <laughs> um, the Ordinary is a great brand. Elf Cosmetics has really good, very inexpensive skincare. Um, yes. Okay. So then next, you guys, this is super fun and I'm super glad I made it. So vitamin C is something, that, oh, you got to do too. Vitamin C <laughs> is something that everybody should use on their face every day. It's good for anti-aging. It's an antioxidant. It helps your skin. But most vitamin C, it's, um, it's a very unstable in its form. So I get it in the form of L-arcerbic -arc acid, which you guys comes with a Coke spoon. Oh, straight up yeah. looks like Coke. Yeah, yeah, that's you like don't have a, to be the Phantom of the Opera to get acid in your face. Right? Yeah, oh, like, I put so much acid on my face. Keeps on giving, you know? You don't have to just use I mix, that. I mix that with Rusu nope, Resveratrol and fer Ferulic Acid. And Olivia Wilde did a skincare thing where she said this Resveratrol was the stuff that kept apples, like, bouncy. And you guys, I want an apple face. So there you go. Mm. Drea, real quick. Movie star skin you most aspire to. Oh Ooh, my god, that's a good question. Ooh, um, Sersha Ronan in Hannah. Mm. Ooh, okay. She's 16. She was fourteen, but whatever. but I watched that movie and I was like, give. Okay, <laughs> and then Retin A, which you should have as an adult. Um, I like a good brightening oil, and then finishing with like Walita Skin Food, nice dense moisturizer. Obviously, a fifty plus SPF every single day. That's the bulk of it, you guys. And as you know, I'm 73 years old, so it's, <laughs> it's working, I think. Uh, look, the end results are undisputably gorgeous. So we Thank can, you. I, know, I feel myself that, getting beautiful. I'm, gra I'm grateful already. you guys let me do this. This is oh, fun. Yeah. No, of course. I think I'm kiln ready. 
<laughs> heat it up. Heat it up. Yes. Um, I watched you. I wish you could pull that off like when people do a cast of their pregnant bellies <laughs> so that we could mark this occasion forever. Uh, next time I'll yeah. do a Biore strip. That'll be exciting. Ooh, Everyone yeah. in chat's asking what WAP means, and that just means my no. work here is done. Oh, uh, no. that's uh, my work here is done. Just go to Twitter, uh, anywhere on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we don't talk about skincare that much on Who Shot Ya. We mostly <laughs> to talk about movies. I sneak it in when I can. Yeah. Yeah. This has been really fun. The Smacks Fun Drive finale show has been fun in general. Thank um, you, everybody, who's everybody been supporting. Who's watching. Yeah and giving and uh helping celebrate our world yeah. so um i want to i want to hear from Jarrett and travel what they think oh yeah I'm so here. yeah i'm literally here doing my own skincare routine Ooh. <laughs> oh, a little it. early you but... love to see it you love to uh, see it do that's love all to see i it. want okay there we go well, um, Jarrett look amazing and i look like a gross sister <laughs> <laughs> Angles. I was gonna say, you got the HD, out to, Ricky. It's not doing it. Iffy, it's not doing you any favors. <laughs> uh, shout out to Iffy for getting a WAP reference into the show today. Oh, well, you knew it was coming. Uh, you knew it was coming. I, I appreciate it. Um, I know that I was, was the all you that I was handed to Travel and Jarrett because I knew they were just gonna take it away. <laughs> they were still giving I'm, you the uh, same look I did. I'm, I'm <laughs> just giving. I'm just. Uh, I wanted to participate in the skincare moment. I appreciate um, that. I'm, I'm, I would, I'm gonna do the influencer thing, but I'm covering up the logos because they're not giving me money. <laughs> but shout out to the to all the products, and uh, that was really cool. Thank y'all yeah. so Thanks much. Thanks for having us. Thanks so keep up the good work. Bye. All right, bye. bye. <laughs> I didn't. You didn't tell me, Jared, you were gonna do the whole skincare thing. I mean, I don't have a routine. I just wake up like this with this baby. Whoa! Food. Listen, <laughs> how you doing? Okay. Very Jackie Washington. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, we have another comment from the live chat. Oh. Okay. Um. I don't know how real you mean this. Uh, Cal Crespi called Cal Crespi, but they say. Oh. Travel, every time you say my name, I'll donate another monthly dollar to Fanti. Say it again. Cal Crespi. Cal it's Crespi. It's only when honey. you do it, though. So say it again. Yes, that's because they don't like you. I, I've I, told I'm you sorry. This before. Travel, I missed the person's name. What was it? <laughs> Cal Crespi. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. Anyway, okay, y'all, we've got one last fabulous segment for you all. You saw them earlier, but they're back for an encore. I think that's what they call that in showbiz. Before you do that, what was the band's name? <laughs> Cal Crespi. There you go. Okay, okay. Okay, so we are going to bring back Janet Varney of the JV Club and Hal and Mark Gagliardi for a mini episode of Janet Varney's The JV Club. Uh, first of all, thank you so much. I didn't catch that name. Could I just hear that really quick, Travel? The oh, gentleman's yeah. name. You sure can. Cal Crespi. Cal. I'm sorry, my, my. Am I saying that right? Correctly. Could you say it I'm again? Not, I don't. I can't I hear it. I didn't. I think it fuzzed. It cut out for a second. Cal Crespi. Yeah, it, my, my my thing cut out. Crespi. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Crespi. <laughs> Okay, yes, Cal yes. Crespi. Okay, great. okay, You've great. You've raised three Might million dollars to... for Fanti tonight, anyway, so really excited about that. I'm Enjoy worried I'm going to forget. Yeah, be prepared to do a little refresher for us at the end of the segment. Uh, thank Absolutely. you, by the way, for no one acknowledging that I am wearing a blue wig for no reason. Wait, that's a yeah. wig? And rhinestones. Yeah, it looks like a descent <laughs> collar. I've... <laughs> <laughs> I felt like if you if you if you had to deal with me again, why not have me looking like I'm? It's a fabulous, fabulous Saturday. Nope, Friday night. It's COVID, guys. It's like, yeah. there's not a lot going on. There's just not a lot. Nobody going knows on. what's happening. Now, for anyone who was hanging with us a little earlier in the show, you know that we did a show trade. So we are doing the same thing for the JV Club segment. I am here with my We Got This Boys, and uh, I'm learning about what their show is. <laughs> I've done the show many times. <laughs> this is an opportunity for me to really know because I've never really paid attention. That's fair. Um, what are we, what are we going to talk about uh, during our show trade? Are we well, settling are, something? We are. We so, settle. Our, uh, the point of our show is we settle. <laughs> uh, we give the objective answers to subjective questions. Uh, so the subjective question that was asked, Hal, was? Well, Steve Schreider wrote in and asked whether in-ear headphones or over-the-ear headphones are better. Thank you, Steve. Great. Hi, Steve. Hi, Hi Cal Steven. Crespi. Thank you. Hi, Hi Cal, Cal Crespi. Crespi. It doesn't wish... matter if we say it. 
I know, I know. Yeah. Um, so let's talk. Let's talk headphones. Uh, I did do a uh, a brief history of headphones. We'll include all of these in here, and I'll see if I can run this down very quickly. Uh, okay. There are and there are multiple kind. There are multiple types. You have circumoral headphones, aka cans, the big ones that go over your ears. Invented in 1958 by Koss, uh, mm-hmm. and then in 1979, super oral light headphones, which are the thin ones that are just the little foam pads over your ears. Uh, 1997. Really spokes modeled that, by the way. I did. Oh, wait. Oh, just wait. 1997, the neck band, like the crazy, <laughs> that appeared in 97. Great. Uh, Apple earbuds popularized uh, that the white Apple earbuds in 2001. Uh, and I did not know this before, the difference between uh, earbuds and earphones. Earphones have uh, like this little doodad. Um, where it actually goes further into your ear. Uh, so that's, and then in 2008, Mark. Dr. Dre entered the game. Hold on, let me finish. I have one oh, sentence no. left. In 2008, oh, Dr. Dre invented uh, Beats by Dre, which were uh, bass heavy over ear headphones uh, made famous by a $1 million diamond encrusted pair worn in 2012 by Lil Wayne. So that's the, those are what we have. The, we have the, the flat foam ones, the in your ear, the, earbuds uh the neck wraparounds which are not on the list right Mark, those are garbage yeah let me let me see that damn uh, earbud again please pull that out because that is an airpod pro right yeah did you lose the tip because i know i didn't lose the tip i have i have surprisingly large ear holes and uh <laughs> the ones that come with it uh the ones that what come I- with it they kept, but it's only one of my ears has a weirdly large ear hole. So one of them kept falling out. So I had to buy these little foam uh, inserts. You know what those are? That's actually a Tempur-Pedic memory foam. Tiny, tiny Muppet nose. Tiny yeah. Muppet nose. Tiny Muppet nose. <laughs> Poor yeah, I have, a, I have one weirdly big ear hole. And, you know, tonight a portion of the proceeds from charity <laughs> will go to filling Mark's ear hole. Yeah, we haven't, with that haven't weird wax yet, that you used assuming. when you were a kid in the pool. Oh, yeah. Wax. Did you have to use that wax? Oh, it for sure. It always was about to fall out. Did it ever fall out? Because it looked like it was about to fall out of everybody's ear who had it. <laughs> I think maybe it severely affected my ears, and that's why I would get, like, tonsillitis all the time and had to get my tonsils out. I blame the wax. You blame yeah, the So you did. You wore the wax, Janet. Yeah. When people have it, it looks like this. And then they go into the pool, and I'm like, they must yeah. have the deepest ear canal, or like the end. Of I just would like put a, a whole candle hook. in each ear. Just... I can't make a figure out. You candle put a can- and candle. Yeah, sure. Did you ever yeah. do the candle thing for your ear, where it like I've sucks never out all that. the wax? I've never done no, that. I, I think super weird. I think they're yeah. I think they're not allowed to even say that that's what happens now because because it's bad for you. Because I saw a box that said like. <laughs> Now it's just a thing that you do to luxuriate in instead of to remove wax. It's like, give yourself the gift. I'm going to get the box. I'm going to get the box. Wait, you Boy, own you know these? What? While Jen is gone. better. I love to fill a tub with some warm water, <laughs> drop some salt in, and then just shove a candle in each too, ear and light it. <laughs> I was too embarrassed to admit. I was too embarrassed to admit that my sig O got them. So Your sig uh, Oh, I thought... Significant other. Whoa. I thought yeah. you meant that was your uh, your uh, sorority that you were in. Real quick, this is so. This is ear candles already. Yeah. Okay, but you sort of think, oh, that's a thing. Like if you need to. Yeah. Remove it. Okay, take advantage of your precious moments to melt away your daily stresses and frustrations with Wally's ear candles. Wally. Oh, I'm sorry, Wally. <laughs> Wait, like well, wall like- hyphen e, like the little robot from the <laughs> Pixar movie. <laughs> Candle. I wish- no, I think this is this is Wally. Wally oh, that's oh. Yeah. Did he autograph your box? Uh, I think he Look autographs each one. Did you get those in a car? Maybe, maybe ten. <laughs> Unwind and feel at ease at the, as the warm air travels down each candle, creating <laughs> rhythmic sounds and soothing warmth. Our luxury collection ear candles combine the exceptional feel and aroma of beeswax with a worry-free, no-drip filter, so you can fully immerse <laughs> yourself in this indulgent pastime. <laughs> jam- so luxuriate as you jam yeah. an open fire into your ear canal. I want to know how long before before Ooh. that that luxurious pastime becomes America's pastime and supplants I'm, baseball. I'm sure as, it's headed that way. Yeah, 
It's mom, oh, dad, me. apple pie, and flames in your ears. Oh, we better just... resolve this headphones thing because we yes. have like one so, minute left. And I've got it. I need to luxuriate in this okay. um, immersive past. Great. Time. We literally have one yeah. minute. I'm yeah. voting for, I'm a, I'm a fan of these kind, the, the Tempur-Pedic foam inside the ear. I think Nobody that's the best it. combination of Massive closing out the outside noise. And also they're convenient that you can jog in them. They like, I do this, they don't move. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Janet, what do you think? I, I agree, but just because that's what I, I always use. Yeah. I do like the big over the ear phones, but. I do too, because they're, they're, they're more isolating. They, they, uh, they, you're sort of immersed. Mm -hmm. whatever's going on but and i will yet, say i'm wearing one earbud right now and i only air, wear one over the ear i always put one back when i'm recording mm -hmm. I, which i in my head is because it's i get some room tone mm -hmm. so if it, i don't like hear my own voice vibrating <laughs> but i think it's that's because, all well and good uh, but we no, maybe we, a we vampire's have to decide. there i'm not kidding i'm not kidding we, we just decide right now we have 10 seconds it's in, in ear. ear it's in the in ear answer. not in ear. earbuds earphones in ear earphones yes Shove them in yeah. your ear like a candle, asked and answered. Thank asked you. Asked and Thank answered. You. Any this thoughts on these do. candles, beautiful MCs of ours? Any yeah, thoughts on Jared these Travell, candles? Jared Travell, please. And, and what, what was the name? Oh, more line? wigs. My oh. love. What's up? I'm sorry. Oh, my <laughs> loves, my loves. Oh. This is Oh, y'all look amazing. amazing. Thank yeah. you. Uh, just don't light ear candles because those things will go up in seconds. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't get them anywhere yeah. near these beauties. Don't get them anywhere near these beauties. I used to, I've, I'm weirded out that I'm having another conversation about ear candles because I was just talking to my dad about this this past weekend. Really? The whole time I was always like, is this actually doing anything back in the day when I would try them? Yeah. Did it feel like yeah, they I, were? Yeah. I don't, but you can luxuriate <laughs> in them. <laughs> well, this I'm luxuriating in this wig, business. so. That wig yeah, is luxurious. Do. I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to, uh, we don't want to get in the way of these wigs because they need yeah. to be celebrated. Yeah, we should all go. all their glory. Thank you, Janet. Thank, Thank you for you. having us back. We love you, yes. everyone. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. This was super Thanks, fun. Cal Crespi. Y'all have a good... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Cal Crespi. Hi, Jared. I... Hey, sugar. How you doing? I, I think that the way that the curls bounce makes me always want to just move all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, how, that's how you know it's you know. fake, okay? Ah, ah. <laughs> that's how we know you ain't growing out your hair. All right, beautiful people. We are at the fabulous. Are we really going to close the show in these wigs? We, I mean, you going to rip yours off? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's what it is. This was your idea. Uh, it was, it was. Anyway, we are at the end of the Max Fun Drive live show. Thank you all so much for all of your support, especially Cal Crespi. We really, really, Who? really appreci appreciate the support of Cal Crespi. Um, we oh, have Cal a total. Crespi. We have a yes. total. Um, all of night we've been raising. Money? Sorry. All night we've been raising money for Cal Crespi. Uh, I'm sorry, Travel. Could you just one more time? Cal Crespi? Cal Crespi? Yes, Cal Crespi. Cal Crespi. Um, all night we've been raising money uh, for a great cause. Um, and I am just super excited to say that in about an hour and 49 minutes, we've raised over $1,700. It's $1,710. Yes. Throughout the duration of the Max Fund Drive, we have uh, a, a total of new upgrading and boosting members, 30,601 of you. I love the, Which the is amazing. Which is yeah. amazing, right? Considering, you know, the pandemic, considering what we know you all, uh, many of us are dealing with as it relates to this foolishness. Jared, you have got to stop. <laughs> Oh, we really appreciate all of the support that you all have been giving to the entire we network do. this entire month in terms of the Max Fund Drive. We really, 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 really truly appreciate it. And we guess do. what? You can always become a member. You can still give a few extra coins if you have it, you know. We're not going to tell you not to give the money that you want to give. So, you know, if you want to go on and give it, <laughs> you can just go on and check that fan tie box like Kyle Crespi did. And we would really, really. <laughs> we have got Kyle to be Crespi. stop saying that child's name. Who's? It is time to go home. I mean, we're already <laughs> home. <laughs> Um, shout out to Cal Crespi. I am hot in this wig. I don't Listen, know how y'all do okay. it. Um, just FYI, if you are still interested in joining Maximum Fun as a member, um, the Max Fun Drive goes through Sunday. Uh, if you're a, pro a procrastinator or you're not really sure, I, if you're not really sure still, and I'm giving you a wig right now, I don't know what you want from us. I don't. Uh, oh, we, before so we go, we did want to do one quick shout out, okay? Jared. To Cal Crespi? Know, 
not <laughs> yes to Kyle Caressi, but also to a special, special, special friend of ours. You want to cure up the, the the air horns? Let's do it. Um, every week on our show, we shout out our producers, and on Sunday, it is our producer Laura Swisher's birthday. So shout out to Laura Swisher! <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, Laura has been in our in our in our chat all day, um, minding us and keeping us in line. And so yes. we appreciate you, Laura, for producing our show and helping us produce this show. Um, you guys do not know it, but there are about 14 of us on this Zoom call right now making this happen for you all today. Yes. Uh, and Laura is one of them. She helps us to make our show fantastic every week. So shout out to Laura. Happy birthday. We love you and appreciate you. So. And with that being said, thank you all so much again for joining us for the last couple hours. We really appreciate the work and the effort and the we energy do. and the money right, that you have put we into do. us and everything else. Thank you all so much. You all have a great evening. Or, yeah. I mean, yeah. And shout out to Cal Crespi. Yeah. <laughs>